Hey, it's Ohio Jimbo. Welcome to the Cluster Fun Studio. Uh, listen, I've got so many stories I'd like to tell, but this is a real quick one. Um, I went. One of the colleges I went to was up in Michigan, uh, Spring Arbor College. Go Cougars! And uh, a lot of people, when I first got up there, I'd introduce myself. Hey, I'm Jim. I'm from Ohio. And they'd say, oh, you're one of those people from Ohio. You're one of those Buckeyes. This guy, you guys are, are obnoxious. You're crazy. You're goofy, whatever. And then they'd pause a little bit and they'd say, by the way, what exactly is a Buckeye? And it's funny because even transplants that come here to Ohio now, they come up and they say, oh, I've had a Buckeye before. It's one of those uh, chocolate things with uh, peanut butter in the middle and it's, uh, it's a big round ball. And, and although it resembles a Buckeye, it's not a Buckeye. That's just the candy that's made to look like a Buckeye. So uh, you can't eat the real Buckeye. As a matter of fact, most of the plant is poisonous. So don't try eating it. But there are so many things that the Buckeye can be used for. And if you're still asking, well, what the heck's a Buckeye? I'm about to show you. Well, it's fall in Ohio. And these leaves mean a lot to people that are uh, from Ohio. And if you're from Ohio, you may recognize this tree and its byproduct. These are husks that come off the tree. They're relatively thick, almost look like a potato on the outside, but they're very, very thick. And some of them are spiky, but this particular breed puts off this. This is the Buckeye. Many people wonder what a buckeye is. This is a buckeye, it's a seed, it's a nut actually, that comes from inside one of these husks. And they're nestled inside here. Once they fall on the ground, these usually nestle down in the grass and that little area right here at the top of it, that area right there, if you see that darker triangle, by the way, this whole buckeye will get darker as it sets out in the air. But that little triangle is the root. Let's see if we can show this here. That's the root for next year's tree. So once that gets in the ground, gets wet, that root will start to emerge from that with this, what is the eye of the buckeye, down on the ground. And as it's down on the ground, it typically lets itself nestle into the grass. It'll get moist. And then that root will pop out, grow, and this becomes a buckeye tree. So the buckeye tree that we have here is relatively small. It's about 20 years old though. And if you look real quick, close a lot of people wonder where they the nuts are and what they look like that right there is the nut growing on the tree so those couple of nuts right there will drop and when they drop if you see how they're separated that nut will fall out and then that's how they uh that's how they reproduce and so this is the ohio state tree it is called the ohio buckeye and this particular small tree uh pretty much so left a good amount of items here these are the husks they lay all over the ground and usually you find buckeyes laying around in the grass too so as you can see they come in all shapes and sizes uh, some of them are flat from being in the husk some of them are big and round um, but they all have that distinctive light brown mark and then the dark brown sides to it. That's where the buckeye, as in buck as a deer, and its eye comes from because it looks like the eye of a buck. And typically this dark eye is what people refer to as the buckeye. So that's where the name came from and it became the state tree because of how prevalent it is here in Ohio. Now there are different breeds of buckeye trees and one of them is yellow bucko, buckeye, there's the Ohio buckeye um, and something like this comes from the Ohio buckeye tree and then this one is from a yellow buckeye tree. So these are different and you look how dark they are. These will actually get darker, you can see this one right here. They'll get darker as they set out after they've been out of the husk for a while. You can see right already, these are already getting darker than uh, the lighter orange color as they come out of the husk. But they do change color. And this is the harvest from that tree out front that is just a small one. It's only about 15 feet tall. Again, it's about 20 years old. 
And um, I started that tree from a seed, one of these, many years ago. And uh, that seed that I started it from came from my elementary school in Zanesville. It was a um, it was Garfield Elementary, which is no longer there. It was a beautiful school. Let's see if I can show you a picture of it. And I took one of the Buckeyes that had fallen out of the tree. I let it uh, seed. And as I showed you earlier where the root comes from, if you let that root grow through there after it's been wet and after it's actually gotten to a freezing point at some point, that root begins to come out of there and then you can grow it and that will turn into a tree. But that's the story of these, the Ohio Buckeyes. So I ask you ask, what is a Buckeye? This is a Buckeye. And this is what they look like. And this is what they do. Just around the base of any buckeye tree, you'll find these husks. Lots of husks. They are um, pretty tough husks, but once they fall, the nut falls out of them. And this one had two in it. And uh, I pretty much have picked up most of these. But these husks, they just, uh, they, they're kind of soft at this point. They can, they've got a little bit of a toughness to them. But uh, for all intents and purposes, that's the remnants from the Ohio Buckeye tree that produced the nuts that we call the Buckeye. And if you ever wondered what a Buckeye is, that is what a Buckeye is right there. Just a little nut that drives Wolverines crazy. So if you've ever wondered, that is what a Buckeye is.